Fushuan is coming out really soon. How do you play her? How strong is he? Let's go over it. Average speed of 100, pretty high base HP. Preservation unit, so she has high aggro and will probably take some hits. Basic attack does damage that scales off her HP, kinda meh. Her main gimmick is in her skill and her talent. When you use her skill, it creates a field that lasts for 3 turns and makes it so that when the enemy hits any of your allies, 65% of the damage will be redirected to her. In addition, when your allies are in the field, their max HP and their crit rate will be buffed. Also, everyone will resist one CC debuff from the enemy when the field is up and it can reset when you reactivate the field. Also, from our talent, your allies take 18% damage when the field is up. In addition, Fushuan will regenerate 20 extra energy when she uses her skill while the field is up. So, when you want to refresh her field and you use her skill, she'll get 20 extra energy, which is great. So her whole gimmick of defensive utility is when any of your allies take damage while the field is on, she will take the brunt of the damage. Since she is taking most of the damage, her talent, when she reaches below 50% HP, she'll basically heal to full. This healing can occur once by default, but you can get more stacks of this healing when you ult. Speaking of her ult, it just does damage to all enemies based on their max HP, and when she ults, she heals her team by a little bit. Assuming your Fushuan has around 7000 HP, her ult will heal around 483 to all your teammates, which is not a lot, but it's helpful since your allies will be taking just a little bit of chip damage. So her entire playstyle of protecting her team is she will take most of the damage because a lot of it will be redirected to her. When she's low, she will automatically heal. To pretty much basically full with her talent and she can continually heal as long as you consistently ult lastly her technique allows you to start off with the field for two turns cool what should you focus on leveling skill because of the crit rate buff and the hp buff and then talent because allies take less damage and she can heal more i don't think her ult and basic attack are worth leveling because i don't think you should build it for damage quick overview of eidolons e1 is really good her field buffs crit rate along with crit damage at 30%. I think E2 is useless. It grants a res when the field is up, but Fushuan should be protecting your team really well anyway, so your teammates shouldn't die in the first place. E3 is skill and talent, so kind of helpful. E4 gives extra energy, kind of nice. E5 levels ultimate and basic attack, so in my opinion, kind of useless. And E6 makes it so that her ultimate just does more damage. Light cone recommendations. This is generally her bis. 24% HP. ER gives damage bonus for your team, and at the start of every wave, pretty much heals them to full. So at that point, you really don't have to worry about her not being able to heal her teammates with her ult. But a very close second, and actually may give her more personal survivability, is Lando's choice. Because of the damage taken reduced by her, since she's taking a lot of the damage, this damage reduction is really helpful for her own survivability. If you don't have those two, you can cope with the hurdle icon, or maybe March 7th. I would heavily recommend Lando's because number one, it's a 4 star and more easily accessible and number two, if we look at her light cone banner, the 4 stars on it are kind of bad in my opinion. This preservation one isn't going to be used. This destruction one is okay but a secret vow is also better in some situations. And perfect timing while also decent, there's many other light cones that abundant users can also use such as multiplication and quid pro quo. How do you build her? Simple. Body, HP percent, boots, speed, sphere, HP, rope energy regen or hp as we'll see on the er calc shortly after substats aim for speed hp percent and then any other defensive stats if you want to play fushuan for damage go ahead but i believe her role is the defensive utility category and because of that i think you should focus more on focusing on hp and speed because hp will give you more survivability and speed allows her to take her actions more quickly and be able to generate sp for your team Trying to go a hybrid build will only make your artifact farming harder. For Fushuan's artifact sets, I highly recommend 2-piece guard, the one that gives damage reduction. Because she's taking a lot of damage since it's being redirected to her, that damage reduction will be key in keeping her alive. As for the other 2-piece, two 2-piece two speed or 2-piece HP will be fine. I would recommend 2-piece speed. And for the planar set, pretty simple, just use the one that supports your team. The one that buffs attack or the one that buffs your team's crit damage. Now keep in mind, if you're going to use the one that buffs crit damage, you're going to want effect res in your substats. Quick summary of my ER calcs. When you start the fight, you should have their technique up, so she'll have her field up for two turns. You will basic and then skill to reapply the field. And at that point, ER rope, ER rope and light cone, and HP and light cone should be able to get their ult up by her second action. These three are below 135, but because she's a preservation unit, you can generally rely on her getting hit and getting that extra energy for the ultimate. HP rope alone requires three actions when you first start the battle. After you use her first ult at the beginning of the battle, then you can start off with a rotation. Calking for a four turn ult, where in that four turns, you do three basics and then one skill in the middle to refresh your field, just your rope gives you plenty to have a four turn ult. Your rope and light cone 
is overkill for four turns but if you look at er rope with light cone for a three turn ult it is just off enough where if you get hit it'll be enough same thing goes with hp rope and light cone hp rope alone for four turns is not enough if you just go hp rope it's going to be a five turn ult so hp rope can depend whether or not you have light cone or not for general purposes i would recommend an er rope just so i don't have to think about missing energy for ult her role in the team is quite simple all teams can be categorized by these four roles, one DPS, two flex units, and a solo sustainer. Fu Xuan fulfills the role of the solo sustainer, unless you want to meme around with a crypto. But generally, she'll be competing with the other abundance and preservation characters. So how strong will she be and how will she fit in the meta? In my opinion, she will be just as strong as Luocha and could be better in some situations. Her defensive utility easily allows for her to solo sustain a team, just like Luocha. She is fairly SP positive, generating plus 2 SP over 4 turns, and her field buffs both max HP and crit rate, which is very valuable. If your team benefits from the max HP buff and especially the crit rate, that damage buff for your team from the crit rate buff can definitely make her better than Luocha. In addition, since she takes most of the damage from her teammates, you may actually afford to build some of your supports of DPS and get some more damage out of them. For example, building your Pella crit. Normally, I wouldn't recommend that because Pella would easily die, but with Fu Xuan, she can protect her using her field. And Fu Xuan can prevent any CC from being afflicted on your team, while Luocha has to reactively cleanse it. Now does Fu Xuan completely power creep Luocha? No, there are also many cases where Luocha is better than Fu Xuan. Luocha can be extremely SP positive by just using his base attack. And if you build multiplication and the wind set on him, he'll be generating way more actions and generating much more SP for your team. In addition, Luocha can remove all debuffs with his ult, while Fushuan can't do that. And lastly, with destruction characters consuming their HP like Blade and potentially Jing Liu, Luocha will be a much better fit for those characters because he can actually heal them, as opposed to Fushuan, whose ult doesn't heal that much, so she may not be able to keep up with the HP consumption herself from such destruction characters unless you have her light cone and you finish the wave in time. So in conclusion, Fu Xuan is a very strong character defensive wise and can rival the defensive utility of Luocha. If you have one of these characters on each of your teams, I think both of your teams would pretty much be unkillable, they're that insane. She is definitely worth the pull if you don't have Luocha and especially if you don't have Japar. The 4 stars on their banner are kinda decent but I would say below average. Hook is kinda meh, Pella doesn't need constellations and only needs one copy, and if you're pulling for Fu Xuan, I don't think you'll need links. So that's the quick and simple Fu Xuan guide and analysis. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe for more guides in the future and I wish you the best of luck for your Fu Xuan pulls.